there's been many times throughout the remodel rehab project that there's been comments about me having to do a bunch of rework and that hasn't really been true up until this point. So as you saw in the introduction of this video, uh, part of it was taking the sheetrock off of this side of the bathroom. And that's because on this side of the bathroom, on the other side of this wall right here, is gonna be the master bedroom. And now I need to create a doorway from the master bedroom into the master bathroom. So part of that is having to uh, cut out a door frame, but then also moving some electrical uh, circuits. Uh, first thing I need, to do, I need to do is remove this outlet. This outlet is gonna be actually moved over to the other side of the wall here, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, it is currently off. You can see right here, it's off. Uh, I also need to remove and move this vanity light box here. This will actually be directly on the opposite wall of where it is now. And then this outlet box right down here and the wire going to an outlet uh, in the hallway, that needs to be moved because it's directly in where the door is going to be. And I think I'm just going to be moving that over a couple studs to stay. Uh, it, it's it's an outlet for the master bedroom. It's not a master bathroom outlet. All right, so I'm going to get to work removing these things, moving them where they need to be, and then we can get to reframing this door. I made sure this was turned off. Uh, there's no indicator on these things. I know it's off, but I'm going to go ahead and just double check this by plugging in a light to it. It's definitely off. This is just for visual purposes, but the outlet that I just took off of the wall behind me is actually going to be placed right up here. And this is going to be right next to the sink, uh, at least a foot away from the sink, edge of the sink, and within three feet of the edge of the sink per code. I think that goes just like that. I'm not going to actually put that on. I'm just going to show you that's where it's going to go. So I need to run that wire up and over. I need to take the wire there and run it up and down over to there. Similar to that outlet, this circuit here, this is the vanity light for the sink. And the sink is going to be, instead of on the wall that is plumb to. It's actually going to be directly behind us where I put that outlet just moments ago. So this guy needs to come out. And this wire has to be brought over to where it's going to be relocated to. Let's see, I wonder if I can take this off without damaging it. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to probably buy a new one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy a new one. Okay, that wire has to come off, and then this wire out here has to come out. Somebody did a very good job on putting these wires onto the studs. It was me. <laughs> I did that. Little pat on the back there. This stud, this stud, this stud is stained. These two studs are coming out. 
I'm probably going to move this outlet over here. One of the things that I do is when I'm running electrical, I'm just doing the roughing, I guess. Uh, when I know that a power, when a conduit wire is power, when it's coming from the panel, I cap them if they're exposed, if the copper's exposed, I cap them so I know visually which one is potentially live if it's turned on, if it's not turned off at the panel. And then the other ones that just run to other outlets or run to other boxes, I don't cap. I just leave exposed so I know that they're just considered load. Now those wires have to be fished up into the attic. I've already filled all of these holes where the wires come through the plate, the top plate, with um, foam. So it's a little harder to get these things to move. There we go. And I also have them all labeled with the circuit number and the purpose on the sheathing of the Romex wire. So I'll know what they are up in the attic. Be pretty easy to identify. I'm not going to cut this until I know this is for sure where I'm putting that box. But this outlet here is going to be serving this bedroom. There's actually going to be a bookshelf right here. So this will be uh, in the bookshelf. Uh, you can see here, this is going to be a new wall. This is going to go up like that, defining the doorway into the bed, uh, bathroom. staples all over the subfloor here from the carpet padding that used to be in this room. So all of these have to be taken up. So I'm just do that now while I'm working on the floor down here. And before I start reframing this door into the bathroom. Somebody was very happy putting staples to hold down that carpet for a 
the carpet pad, I guess. They're just everywhere. And all of this has to come off, uh, or all of the staples uh, in this addition, where carpet used to be, all of it has to come out before I can lay down the final floor anyway, the finished floor. So it's not wasted time doing this, but it's not what I'd rather, it's not what I'd like to be working on. Good enough for the new framing that I'm going to do. There's just so many of them. I'm going to be putting the light switch to the bathroom right here because this will be the entryway from the master bedroom. The light switch right here. So I took out the drywall and the insulation so it'll be easier to fish a wire or to put the wiring in place. I don't know a better way of doing it so that's how I did it. And yes, I already went up to the attic to double check or I'm going to penetrate through. There's nothing in the way, but I didn't double check my battery strength. 
So what I have here is I have two wires. One's going to be coming from power. The other one's going to go to the light switch. Actually, they're both going to the light switch. One's going to be going from power to the switch. One's from the switch to the source, or sorry, to the destination, which is the lighting for the room. Get it all wired up and then get this set. I think I have all the framing done, all the electrical work done. Now what I'm doing is putting the insulation bats back into place, cutting new bats, and uh, putting them into the new framing. But let's do a quick little walk, walk through here. Uh, so the new entrance is right here from, from the master bedroom, which is full of stuff right now. But basically, uh, sliding barn door will close and open. You walk in, got your light switch for the lights right there. Uh, I still need to remove and redo some plumbing, so just ignore that. But you walk in and there'll be a sink right here on this, right in the front, right when you walk in, vanity light right there. The toilet. That's going to be rotated and facing this direction here. And then we'll have the tub back in this little section right back there. Oh, all right. That was, that was a little bit of work, but it's a nice, it's definitely a nice space. I'm really proud of what I did here. Um, it came, it came out really nicely. So put the insulation bats in. Oh, one thing I want to show you here is you may see I have some paper towels hanging from various spots on the ceiling there and that is where there's penetrations old penetrations or new penetrations for wiring to go through and so I'll have to come back with some foam and fill those but meanwhile I'm going to get the insulation put back into place yeah one step closer to being moved in uh, next is going to be a lot of electrical work in the main living area. And then it is on to insulation and the drywall. Pumping through. See you next time.
Thanks. Bye.